You say you don't wanna get in trouble That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Either way, I'm so happy to have you for today's video. It is full of tons of cleaning motivation. We're going to be doing some deep cleaning along with daily chores. I'm also sharing a new tip to cleaning fruit that I absolutely loved and finally a recipe at the end. But with all that being said, I know this video will be sure to get you going for whatever is on your to-do list. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have already but jumping right into the video we are starting out over here by our oven I had some turkey bacon that was about to expire so I popped that into the oven to cook I just cook it a few minutes on 400 degrees and once that's all cooked up I'll pack it away in the fridge and start on the dishes There are two things you can always count on. We almost always have a sink with dirty dishes in it and a dishwasher that is full of clean stuff. So I'm going to unload what's in here now. This day specifically, I had left whatever out out because I'm hooked on the show, The Terminal List. I couldn't wait to watch an episode this night, so I left things as is and didn't bother. If you haven't seen it, it's on Prime Video and is about a group of Navy SEALs. For whatever reason, I'm always drawn to that type of show, but the last few days, I've alternated between The Terminal List and Stranger Things, and I can't get enough of either of them. Let me know if you watch them too or what you are currently watching. I need something to hold me over until Yellowstone returns in the fall. For the caraway pans, I like to hand wash them so the coating stays intact. The rest of the dishes that are out, I'll either rinse or scrub a little before putting in the dishwasher. If you do a lot of cooking like us, these non-stick silicone mats on the right hand side are the best. I think they are intended to be used for baking, but I make chicken on them, bacon as you saw, really anything, and it prevents the food from sticking. I think these are from William Sonoma, but I'm sure Amazon even sells them. I've had this specific one since my bridal shower years ago, and it's still in perfect condition. So they're not only high quality, but they make your life so much easier when it comes to cleanup.
Now that the dishwasher is loaded and running, it's time to scrub the sink out really well with some Dawn. And once I'm done with that, I'll begin to wipe down the counter so we can prep some fruit. A few weeks ago, Bath & Body Works had their semi-annual sale and truthfully, I'm not big on like stocking up on candles because we really don't have the space, but I do love to get these on sale or at least get a deal on them. They are pretty expensive otherwise. So I picked up this Pink Shores candle for the summer and my favorite Christmas scents for when that time comes, which will be here before we know it, although I'm by no means rushing through summer. But right now I'm going to fill up this bowl with water to wash some grapes. I never feel like my fruit gets cleaned enough just from rinsing alone underwater, so I like to soak produce before eating it. To the bowl, I'll add two tablespoons of baking soda. I just learned this method, so maybe it's new to some of you too. Basically, you'll submerge the fruit and let that soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Let me tell you, the stuff that came off of the grapes, which I will show you in just a minute, is so disgusting. In the meantime though, I'll work on the stove, which definitely needed a good scrub today. I'm rotating the grapes around to make sure they're all soaking and before this clip I sprayed some easy off on the stove top and now I'll take a sponge to push that product around and get up any burnt on food. Regardless of what product I use, I follow up with a paper towel and multi-surface cleaner to really pick up the last of the product that could be left over or missed. I had to do a side-by-side -side of some clean water so you can really see the difference. I cannot believe how much the baking soda mixture pulled off of these grapes. Probably a ton of dirt, pesticides, and whatnot. But in the past, I've used vinegar and water. Nonetheless, that works great too, but I will absolutely be using baking soda going forward. If you have a fruit or veggie cleaner you love or a technique that works, let me know in the comments too. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to take off the bottom air vent to the fridge, which had dust for days between the dust that accumulated on the vent itself and also under the fridge. It was bad, you guys, which is probably a really big fire hazard. I just used some paper towels to grab what I could that way, first using the handle of a Swiffer that wasn't working, so then I moved on to just using my hands. I'm curious to know how often you guys clean under your refrigerators though. I do it once a year, but from the looks of this, I probably should start doing it a bit more. I'm using the Swiffer to push the dust and paper towels into a pile and then I'll vacuum up the little pieces left over on the floor. From here, I'll move into the dining room to throw out some flowers that had died and do a few more things in there too. I'm wrapping up in the dining room and then I'm gonna spend a few seconds in the living room. It wasn't too bad. I mentioned a few videos back we had friends staying with us, so the house was maintained a decent amount in this area. I feel like it's been forever though since I put up a new video, even though, I mean, forever to me is two weeks, I think, but this is just a very busy season for us. I think because with the past few years, events have been put on hold for so many people and pushed to this year. So we literally have had two events over the course of a weekend, sometimes two in a day that are overlapping for the past month, even longer. And although they are all happy things, it's still very time consuming, which is why I took the last two weeks or so off. I'm just embracing the summer and cleaning and filming as I have time. Right now, I've moved upstairs to get on top of the laundry. I'm starting a load here and we'll be folding some clean clothes a little later on. These are some of the before clips to show you the state of the bedroom. We will take care of all of this, but first I wanted to get some clean sheets on the bed to get that made.
If you've watched my videos before, you know it's not uncommon that my clean clothes are thrown on the floor in a pile because we don't have time to fold them. The laundry can accumulate really quick. So this is just a fast clip of me folding some of the clothes and then I'll refill my canister with OxyClean and move into the bathroom. If you've never tried OxyClean before, I highly recommend picking some up. Not only do I use it in the washing machine to get out stains in our laundry, specifically like sheets and towels, things like that. I've also added some to a bowl with water for a specific piece of clothing that had stains, say like a hat, let it sit and it works amazing to pull up the stain that way too. This one container lasts me a pretty good amount of time, so it's always worth it to me. I changed out the light bulbs in the bathroom. You may have seen the box a few minutes ago. The ones on top of the mirror all had gone out and when I do my makeup or need extra light, I just like these lit up, but I bought soft white bulbs thinking they were the really like white white ones that I had last time and they aren't. They are definitely yellow, so I have to replace them next time I go to the store. But let me tell you, light bulbs change a space so much. I feel like these definitely make the bathroom look I don't know, dated for some reason. And that's not always the case. Sometimes yellow bulbs do make a room feel cozy. Depending on the decor of the room though, it completely changes the vibe. But anyways, we're cleaning out the toilet fast before moving on to a meal idea. I wanted to share a really quick and easy recipe in today's video. Whenever I want something fast, I make sheet pan meals. So I'm making a Greek chicken dish, although I will be browning the chicken in a pan to get it extra crispy. You can put the chicken directly into the oven as is to make your life easier. But I'm starting off with the marinade, which is a half a cup of olive oil, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one lemon juiced, some garlic, oregano and thyme, salt and pepper. After whisking together, I'm reserving about half of it for later and while that's marinating I'm going to chop up the rest of the ingredients. You say you don't want to get in trouble that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble but you gotta wake up to reality cause I can see in your eyes your head To make the base of the dish, which the chicken will sit on, I'm cutting up some bell pepper, zucchini, and onion. You can add whatever you like or have on hand. And then once I spread all the vegetables out on the pan, I'll toss in some grape tomatoes. And this is when you'll use the reserved marinade to drizzle over the top. Like I said before, I wanted to brown the chicken before putting it in the oven, but this is totally optional. From here, I'll transfer the sheet pan into a 425 degree oven until the chicken is cooked through, and then we'll get to the final steps. Like like 
Once the chicken is cooked through, I'm adding some Kalamata olives and feta cheese, and then it's ready to serve. You can pair with rice, or what we did was a salad, but either way, it's absolutely delicious and easy. If you guys try this out, definitely make sure to let me know how you liked it, but that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you back here in a few days. Bye!